the purpose of this video is to explain my approach to communicating student learning and the new written learning update or formerly known as report card format that is going to be used this year across the province. So in the 2023-2024 school year across the province of British Columbia, the new reporting requirements and expectations are coming into full force. So although many schools were experimenting and exploring the new processes and approaches over the last few years, uh, this year everyone across the province in K-9 to will be using the new format for or written learning updates. The main uh, part that might be different um, is the proficiency scale, or as we call it in uh, Central Okanagan Public Schools, the learning progress continuum. It has four steps. The first is emerging, second is developing, the third is proficient, and the fourth is extending. The target is to gain proficiency. The proficiency scale is described in a little more detail on this chart where I have also added uh, in some midpoints between the four points on the provincial scale um, that I use on a day-to-day -day basis when giving students uh, assessment feedback but the midpoints won't be used or uh, included in the written learning updates that come home at the end of the first term, the second term, and at the end of the year. New components of report cards this year are uh, student goal setting, self-reflection about core competencies, growth-based language, and holistic comments. So to break these uh, four parts up, um, Part of what we're trying to get students to do is to take charge of their own learning, uh, to have some ownership of their learning and the process that they uh, are going about to do their learning. So we are encouraging students to set their own goals. Of course, we are facilitating that process, um, but we are wanting students to be thinking about what they want to accomplish themselves and then um, teaching them how to make those uh, SMART goals or specific, measurable, action-oriented, uh, realistic, and uh, time-bound or that they have a deadline. Um, the second is uh, self-reflection about the core competencies. So in British Columbia, the core competencies that run through all curricular areas are uh, thinking, both critical and creative thinking, uh, communication, which also includes collaboration, and personal and social, which have a positive personal and cultural identity, uh, social responsibility, and personal awareness and responsibility as components. So uh, as we teach students to reflect on these uh, competencies, uh, we give them opportunities to uh, articulate those reflections in many different ways. And this reflection is meant to be part of the reporting process as well. The growth-based language component is where we try to describe in positive ways what students are able to do. Um, so that involves in particular uh, what they're able to do in terms of core academics, so literacy and numeracy, um, but also if there are things that stand out about their abilities in other areas like physical and health education or social studies or science uh, or something else, then uh, we also describe uh, the progress that they made or the growth that they made that stood out in those various areas. And the last point is that um, the comments that uh, we have included in report cards are for the most part holistic comments. So what that means is they are looking at the student as a whole person and discussing 
their progress and their next steps and their strengths uh, in all different areas. So uh, behavior, social responsibility, work habits, effort, uh, attitude, um, but also uh, the specific things that they might be doing or learning about in uh, different curricular areas. Um, but the idea for the most part is to um, have all of those comments in one section as opposed to breaking them up into a different comment for each subject. Uh, this is what uh, written learning updates look like. So the uh, first page has a school message and then there is some information about where to find um, the work that students have done in relation to goal setting and reflecting on the core competencies. Uh, then there is a descriptive uh, feedback about what the student is able to do, uh, the kind of growth and and progress that the student has made this term, um, some of the things that we might recommend that they work on moving forward, and some of their next steps uh, for getting better and growing as a thinker and a learner. Um, in terms of some subjects, uh, there might be uh, on the second page some uh, comments relating to the student's progress and work in relation to uh, subjects where uh, the student's main teachers uh, aren't teaching them. So for instance, in exploratory classes and that kind of thing, or if there is uh, a particular comment that needs to be made in relation to a particular subject. And um, on the second and third page uh, in words is a description of where the student falls on the proficiency scale or learning progress continuum in relation to each subject. Uh, so it will say English and then either developing, proficient, or perhaps emerging or perhaps extending uh, in relation to how the student did in that subject. And there is uh, a word describing where they are on the proficiency scale for each subject. And then the final thing that you see at the bottom of the third page is uh, the attendance, uh, absences, and late uh, arrivals for the student over the course of this term. So that is uh, the contents of the written learning updates. And um, now I will just explain a little bit about why we have uh, changed from traditional report cards with A's and B's and C's letter grades and um, the, the way that report cards used to be structured, why we've changed to this new written learning update format. So first of all, we want to celebrate the growth uh, that students have made and celebrate the things that they can do rather than focusing on uh, rating and comparing students to one another. So the idea of, of letter grades can lead to students um, starting to identify with a particular letter grade, uh, like thinking I'm a C student or I'm a B student. And um, the idea of the, the proficiency scale is for all students to see themselves as able to move along the scale and, and cycle up from emerging into developing, into proficient, perhaps into extending, and then in a new subject or with a new skill or new competencies, uh, new understandings, uh, they might be back at emerging or perhaps at developing, and then they de develop and uh, build their proficiency. And uh, we're hoping that students will see it more as a cycle uh, than as, um, a pecking order or a comparison where they are in a certain place uh, on the letter grade uh, frame of reference. Um, the second uh, 
goal or objective of these written learning updates is to provide information uh, to parents about how students are doing. So um, it's part of the process of connecting um, parents to the work that their students are doing at school and um, the teachers are doing the work to inform the parents to try and um, create those connections and um, communicate where students are at and, and uh, where they're going. Which brings me to the third part um, that I've mentioned on this slide, which is next steps. And this has to do with uh, trying to uh, cultivate in students a growth mindset or the idea that they can grow. Uh, so the graphic that I have included here shows that the aim or the uh, place that you're trying to get to is not inside your comfort zone or your current skill set, but outside of your comfort zone and current skill set so that you're trying to stretch and um, grow your ability, competency, understanding uh, to a place where it isn't yet. Thank you for watching and if you have any questions for me, you can email me at the email address shown on the screen and hopefully uh, this has given you some clarification as to why the written learn learning updates are in the format and have the components that they currently do.